Hi guys, so I'm here today to do my review on the Givenchy Shark Lock Biker Boots and the grain leather. So let's get right into the video because that's what y'all here for. All right, so here is the box that it comes in. It is very heavy. It is very heavy. Um, it's just a normal the Givenchy box that the other shark um shark lock boots come in. So let's open the package. So here are the box, and it's just your normal black paper. Of course, you get the dust bags in there, and then the boots. Oh my gosh, the boots. So that is just how they come packaged. Okay, so here is the boot. It is so beautiful. Look at the detailing on the bottom of the shoe. And this little paper is um, what they put inside of the folds underneath it. And they do it on all their boots. The smaller boot, um, they put it underneath the little pocket here. And then this is the detail of the shoe. And the Givenchy in the back, of course. And you got the Givenchy logo here as well. And that's just how it looks. And then this is the top of the boot, the actual lock of the boot, you know, the original normal strap on the boot itself. And then this is the lock here. And then this is just how it comes off. Just pull it down, unhook it. And you just turn this here. It locks and you open it. And then you have the boots with the strap off. Some people wear theirs like this. I like them on the ankle boots like this. It's very cute, but on these, I don't think I'm going to wear it like that, but it's another way to wear them. And then, you know, you just clip it back on and you lock it. And you can actually wear them like this. This is kind of how the original boot, well, this is the original boot without the lock. Um, I wanted those before, but I never got them. But this give me the old look with the lock without the lock so if you want or you wanted the original this is it right here and then so you just add your lock back on of course and it's really easy i know on the ankle boots oh my gosh that zipper is terrible on the ankle boots i'm going to do a review on the ankle boots too and then you just Push it back and you got your lock back on. So yeah, this is the boot. So beautiful. Um, now let's get into the actual fit. I got the boot in a size 41, which is a US 11 and they don't fit. I was so sad because I was excited for this boot but they do not fit. I say these, if I got, if you have wide feet, actually it was up on my calf. So the calf part actually wasn't the problem. It was actually like when you stick your feet inside, if you know how your normal boots are when you stick it inside and it gets stuck, like right there in that bottom part, that's where my feet got stuck at. So literally as I was putting on the shoe, it got stuck like right at that bottom before I can sit, slide my feet all the way down into the boot. So, and I wear a 10 US women's, um, and most boots I have to go up to 11 because they just fit different. So I have to always go up a size larger, which is an 11, which I got in this boot. But they definitely run small. So I would say if you have narrow feet, you probably go like a size half up or you could wear your original size. But if you have wide feet or any other type of feet, definitely go a size up because 
your feet won't be going into these if you have wide feet. Um, I'm just sad because they are, they are beautiful and I can't fit them at all. Um, they are $1,995. They just did a price increase, um, $200, which is sad <laughs> because, you know, you, I think it originally was like $1,795. So now they are definitely one $1,995. But I mean, if I've been wanting them for so long, so I didn't mind paying it, but they do have a dupe which I have a dupe of the boot and I'm probably going to do a video on that too because I do have a less cost effective boot and it was like a hundred I think a hundred almost two hundred dollars and those are perfect too I love those um they're comfortable but these these bad boys I'm so sad because I want to love these and I wish they could make like custom sizes like just around the, the calf part and the foot part because I definitely would get the custom size in these because they just don't work for the large girls or the large calf girls or wide feet people, wide foot people, they don't work. But, oh yeah, let me show the bottom of the boot. This is the bottom of the boot. Of course, the Givenchy logo here. And I actually like this better because on the um, on the regular short lock boots, they have the soft bottom at the back of it and you're gonna need like something to put on it while you're walking. So these are a plus because it has the little rigid bottoms on the bo bottom of the shoe. So you definitely, these are a lot better. And, it, and it's actually a heel too. It's not um, just a tennis shoe or a boot. It's the actual heel underneath it. I think it's like three and a half inches, if I'm not mistaken. So it still is a heel. Um, it's still a heel. It's not an actual um, boot. It's not an actual like boot, but it's still a, a heel. Still a heel. Um, and I just, it give you that moto inspired look. So this would definitely be cute with like some leather shorts, some jean shorts, dresses. It goes with everything. So definitely if you want these, if you don't want to get the other ones, these are cheaper. The other ones are, I think they're $22.95, the regular normal boots. And these are $19.95. So if you want a cheaper, a little cheaper version, then definitely check these out. They are worth it. They're so freaking cute. And yeah, I will be doing a review on the ankle boots and I will be doing a review on the dupe of the ones I have. I will be doing a review on the dupe for the cheaper um, boot that I have um, coming soon. I will be doing a review on that. So yeah, just stay tuned. Look out for, check out more videos. And thanks again for watching.